for centuries, different hairstyles have been used to communicate social status, wealth, and beauty. In recent years, many Nigerian universities have banned some certain hairstyles such as braids and dreadlocks from their dress code. This has sparked the debate whether these policies are discriminatory and what roles could play in shaping student identities. Should schools have the right to regulate this policy? Let's view the force of negotiations. Education is about moral upbringing and literacy. So it's the duty of the school to bring about moral discipline into the student. And to me, I believe the school has the utmost right to regulate the mode of dressing and the hairstyle of a school in any institution. Because the, there's another general you know, right that say you'll be addressed the way you are dressed. So the moral upbringing and hairstyle of the student needs to be regulated. Okay. As a matter of fact, schools do not have the right to tell students the kind of hairstyles they should make. Do you understand? But some, we have some private schools in Nigeria, you understand, that, that tell students the kind of hairstyle they should make. And we have some public schools too. More, most especially public schools in Nigeria does not uh, require that. But private schools in Nigeria, like all those Babcock, all those, all those governors, all those Mamomi University, them, you know, they can do any, any kind of hairstyle they want. But we, we that we, we, we went to government school, we can, you can buy Bodimapa, you can buy uh, Fari Kolodo, you can do dredge, you can do any, any hairstyle. You understand? It doesn't mean, but all those Ajebo universities, man, that one, they can't, that, that one, they fit the for them. If, if, even some, even some university, university, they will tell you not to use cell phone, as mature as you are. You understand? Okay, for so, regulating the student's hairstyle, for the female student, I would say no, because the females are allowed to carry any hairstyle. Before. But for the male student, their hairstyle should be regulated so that they look more responsible for themselves and society at large. So you've heard the opinion of negotiations today. Some say it's right for them to regulate policy, some say it's not. Well, what do you think? You can comment your opinion down in the comment section. I am Akinipo Oluwatsumle, reporting for Penn TV.